things. Really, Dinah ought to have taught you better manners. Now, don't interrupt me. I'm going to tell you all your faults. Number one, you squeaked twice while Dinah was washing your face this morning. Now, you can't deny it, Kitty. I heard you. Number two, you pulled Snowdrop away by the tail just as I had set down a saucer of milk before her. And now for number three, you unraveled every bit of worsted while I wasn't looking. That's three faults, Kitty, and you've not been punished for any of them yet. Suppose they had saved up all my punishments. What would they do at the end of a year? I should be sent to prison when the day came, I suppose. Kitty, do you know how to play chess? Now, don't smile, my dear. I'm asking it seriously, because when we were playing just now, you watched just as if you understood. And when I called check, you purred. Well, it was a very nice check, Kitty. And really, I might have won if it hadn't been for that nasty knight that came wriggling down among my pieces. Oh, Kitty, let's pretend that you're the Red Queen. You know, I think you'd look just like her if you sat up and folded your arms. Now, do you try. There's a deer. You're not folding your arms properly. I'll just hold you up to the looking glass so you can see how sulky you are. And if you're not good directly, I'll put you through in the looking glass world. How would you like that? Now, if you'll only attend, Kitty, I'll tell you all my ideas about looking glass world. First, there's the room you can see beyond the glass. It's just like our drawing room, only the things go the other way. Oh, Kitty, I wish there was a way for us to get into looking glass world. I'm sure it's got, oh, such beautiful things in it. Oh, Kitty, let's pretend there's a way for us to get through. We can pretend that the glass has got all soft, like gauze, so that we can get into it. Why, it's turning into a sort of mist now, I declare. It'll be easy enough to get through. Very 
pretty, but rather hard to understand. It seems to put ideas in my head, only I don't know exactly what they are. Anyway, someone killed something, that's for sure. Oh, my ears and whispers, how late it's getting. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I shall be too late. lovely garden. Oh, how I would love to get out there among the cool fountains and bright flowers. Oh. Well, even if my head could fit in, it would be of no use without my shoulders. Oh, I wish I could just shut up like a telescope. You know, everything is so out of the way here. I believe I could if I only knew how to begin. I'm sure this wasn't here before. Drink me. Well, it's all very well to say drink me, but I'll look first and see if you're marked poison. For if a little girl drinks from a bottle that's marked poison, it's sure to disagree with her sooner or later. Hmm. No? Must be okay. Mmm, it tastes just like cherry tart, custard, pineapple, sushi, toffee, and hot butter toast. I used to know. 
<clears throat> How doth the little crocodile improve his shiny tail and pour the waters of the Nile on every golden scale? How cheerfully he seems to grin when neatly spreads his claws and welcomes little fishes in with gently smiling jaws. Oh dear, I am sure those are not the right words. I must be Mabel after all. Oh, good heavens! There can't be more than three inches left of me. It must be the fan. That was a close one. And now, to the garden. The key! The key! Norman's 
How are you getting on now, my dear? As bad as ever. It doesn't seem to drive me at all. In that case, I move that the meeting be adjourned for an immediate adoption of more energetic remedies. Speak English. I don't know the meaning of half those long words, and what's more, I don't believe you do either. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say is that the best thing to get a stride would be a caucus race. What is a caucus race? Why, the best way to explain it is to do it. Let the race begin.
me for his housemaid. How surprised he'll be when he finds out who I am. But I'd better take him his fan and gloves. That is, if I can find them. when I woke up this morning, but I must have changed several times since then. What do you mean by that? <coughs> explain yourself? Well, I can't explain myself, I'm afraid, sir, because I'm not myself, you see? I don't see. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't put it any more clearly, for I don't understand it myself to begin with. And it's very confusing being so many sizes in one day. It isn't. Well, maybe you don't think so yet. But when you turn into a chrysalis, and you will one day, you know, and then after that into a butterfly, I should think you'll feel it a little queer, won't you? Not a bit. Well, perhaps your feelings may be different. All I know is it would feel very queer to me. You, who are you? I think you should tell me who you are first. Why? Come back. I have something important to say. Keep your temper. Is that all? No. <laughs> so, you think you're changed, do you? I'm afraid I am, sir. I can't remember things as I used to, and I don't keep the same size for ten minutes together. Can't remember what things? Well, earlier I tried to say how doth the little busy bee, but it all came different. Repeat, you are old, Father William. You are old, Father William, the young man said, and your hair has become very white, and yet you incessantly stand on your head. Do you think at your age it is right? In my youth, Father William replied to his son, I feared it would injure the brain. But now that I'm perfectly sure I have none, why, I do it again and again. You are old, said the youth, and your jaws are too weak for anything tougher than suet. Yet you finished the goose with the bones and the beak. Pray, how did you manage to do it? In my youth, said his father, I took to the law and argued each case with my wife. And the muscular strength which it gave to my jaw has lasted the rest of my life. That, that is not said right. Not quite right, I'm afraid. Some of the words have got altered. It is wrong from beginning to end. What size would you like to be? Oh, I'm not particular as to size, only one doesn't like changing so often, you know? I don't know. Are you? Content now? Well, I should like to be a little larger, if you don't mind, sir. Three inches is such a wretched height to be. <laughs> <clears throat> it is a very fine height indeed. But I'm not used to it. You will get used to it in time. One side will make you grow taller. The other side 
will make you grow shorter. One side of what? The other side of what? Of the mushroom. There's no sort of use in knocking, and that is for two reasons. First, because I'm on the same side of the door as you are. And secondly, because they're making such a noise inside, no one could possibly hear you. Please, then. How am I to get in? There might be some sort of use in your knocking if we have the door between us. Perhaps you could knock, and I could let you out, you know. How am I to get in? I shall sit here until tomorrow. Or the next day, maybe. To get in. Are you to get in at all? That is the first question, you know. <sighs> it's really dreadful the way these creatures argue. It's enough to drive one crazy. I shall sit here on and off for days and days. But what am I to do? Anything you like. <sighs> There's no use in talking to him. He's perfectly idiotic. There's too much pepper in that soup. Would you tell me, please, why it is your cat grins like that? It's the Cheshire cat, and that's why. Hey. I didn't know Cheshire cats always grinned. In fact, I didn't know cats could grin. They all can, and most of them do. I don't know of any that do. You don't know much, and that's a fact. Do with this creature. 
creature when I get it home. Well, if it had grown up, it would have been a dreadfully ugly child, but makes a rather handsome pig, I think. seen a cat without a grin, but a grin without a cat? It's the most curious thing I've seen in all my life. I've seen hatters before, so the March Hare should be much the most interesting. And perhaps, as it is May, it won't be raving mad, at least not as mad as it was in March. <gasps> it must be very uncomfortable for the Dormouse, only as it's asleep, I suppose it doesn't mind. I do, at least 
I mean what I say. And that's the same thing, you know. <laughs> Not the same thing a bit. Why? You might as well say, I see what I eat is the same thing as I eat what I see. <laughs> or, 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 you might as well say, I like what I get is the same thing as I get what I'd like. <laughs> you might just as well say that I breathe when I sleep is the same as I sleep when I breathe. Oh, it's the same with you! <laughs> Precisely so! And we have no time to wash things between whiles! 
So then, I suppose you keep moving from place to place? Oh, exactly so! And when you come to the beginning again... <laughs> suppose we change the subject. I'm getting tired of this. I vote the young lady tells us a story. Ooh. I'm afraid I don't know one. Oh, the, the dormouse shell. Wake, Wake up, dormouse! I wasn't asleep. I heard every word you fellows were saying. Tell us a story! Yes, please do. And be quick about it, or you'll be asleep before it's done. Once upon a time, there were three little sisters, and their names were Elsie, Lacey, and Tilly. And they lived at the bottom of a well. Ooh. What did they live on? They lived on treacle. Ooh. Yum! <laughs> they couldn't have done that or they'd have been ill. So they were very ill. <laughs> Why did they live in the bottom of a well? Take some more tea. I haven't had any yet, so I can't have more. Oh, you can always take more than nothing. <laughs> Nobody asked your opinion. Oh, who's making personal remarks now? Why did they live at the bottom of the well? It was a treacle well. But there's no such thing. Shh. If you can't be civil about it, then you can finish the story yourself. No, please go on. I won't interrupt again. I dare say there may be one. One indeed. And so, these three sisters, they were learning to draw, you know. Mm. What did they draw? Treacle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, I want a clean cup. Let's all move one place on. <laughs> Oh, by all heavens, have it. Let's just love a clean cup in a clean space. But I don't understand. How did they draw the, where did they draw the treacle from? Well, you can draw water <laughs> from a water well. So one should think you could draw treacle from a treacle well, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but they were in the well. Of course they were. Well in. <laughs> and these three sisters, they were learning to draw, and they drew all manner of things that begin with the letter M. Why with an M? Why not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, with the letter M, such as mouse traps and the moon, and memory, and muchness. You know you say things are much of muchness, but have you ever seen such a thing as a drawing of a muchness? <laughs> well, now that you ask, I don't think. Well, then you shouldn't talk. About <laughs> 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 the time she left. Oh, yes, so. I heard the queen say only yesterday, you deserve a bit of headache. What for? That's none of your business. Yes, it is his business, and I'll tell him. It's where you look like tulip versus of onions. Well, of all the unjust things. <laughs> Would you tell me, please, why you're painting the roses? Well, you see, Miss, this here ought to be a red rose tree, and we put it in a white one by mistake, and if the queen were to 
find out we have our heads cut off, you know. The queen, the queen! Oh, 
get up, you lazy thing, and take this young lady to see the mock turtle and to hear his history. I must go and see after some executions, I have heard. for to know your history, she do. Oh, I'll tell her. Uh, sit down, both of you. And don't speak a word until I've finished. <coughs> <coughs> Once, oh, <laughs> I was a real turtle. When we were young, we went to school in the sea. Our master was an old turtle, who we used to call him Tortoise. Why did you call him a tortoise if he wasn't one? We called him Tortoise because he taught us. <laughs> really, you are very dull. You ought to be ashamed of yourself for asking such a simple question. But drive on, old fellow, but don't be all day about it. Yes, we went to school to see those. You mayn't believe it. I never said I didn't. Yes. Yeah. Hold your tongue. We had the best in education. In fact, we went to school every day. I've been to day school. You needn't be as proud as all that. With extras? Yes, French and music. And washing. Certainly not. <laughs> then yours wasn't a very good school. Now at ours, at the end of the bill, we had French music and washings extra. What was the main course? Um, uh, I wish I could afford to take the extra courses, but my main courses were Reeling and writhing, of course, to begin with, and then the different branches of arithmetic. We had ambition, a uh, distraction, oblification, and derision. I've never heard of uglification. What is that? Never heard of uglification? Do you know what to beautify it is, I suppose? Oh, well, yes, it's to make anything prettier. Well, if you don't know what the uglify is, then you are a simpleton. Uh, how many hours a day did you have lessons? Ten hours the first day, nine the next, and so on. What a curious plan. That's the reason they're called lessons, because they lessen from day to day. So then, the 11th day must have been a holiday. Of course it was! But how did you manage on the 12th? Enough about the lessons. Tell her something about the games now. <laughs> Same as if he had a bone in his throat. Thank you. You may not have lived much under the sea. I haven't. And perhaps you have never been introduced to a lobster? I once tasted. No, never. <laughs> ah, then you have no idea what a delightful thing a lobster quadrille can be. No, indeed. 
What sort of a dance is it? Would you like to see a little of it? Very much, indeed. Come! We can do the first wheel. Uh, we don't need the lobsters, you know. Uh, we shall sing. You sing. I've forgotten the word. Will you walk a little faster, said the warning to the snails. They are moving first, living on my tail. The
game, or any other dish. Who would not give all else for two? Pennyworths only for beautiful soup. such eyes to see nobody at that distance as well. Why, it's only as much as I can see these people by this light. I see somebody now, but he comes very slowly and with such curious attitudes. <laughs> Not at all. He is an Anglo-Saxon messenger. Those are Anglo-Saxon attitudes. He does that when he is happy. His name is Hayer. I love my love with an H because he is happy. I hate him with an H because he is hideous. He, I feed him ham sandwiches and hay. His name is Hare, and he lives... He lives on a hill. The other messenger is named Cab. I must have two, you know. One to come and one to go. I beg your pardon. It is respectable to beg. This young lady loves you with an H. You alarm me. I feel faint. Give me a ham sandwich. Obviously, nobody walks slower than you. <gasps> now that you've gotten your breath, tell me, what are they saying in town? Hmm. I'll whisper it. The trial ought to begin! Do you call that a whisper? Oh, they went through it through my head like an earthquake. If you do that again, I'll have you butter. Sit down. 
Harold, read the accusations. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole those hearts and took them quite away. Let the jury consider their verdict. Oh, uh, not yet. Not yet. There's a great deal more to come before that. <clears throat> Call the first witness. First witness. I beg your pardon, Your Majesty, for bringing these in. I quite hadn't finished my tea when I was sent for. <laughs> you ought to have finished. What did you begin? 14th of March, I think it was. No, 15th. Oh, yes. 16th. Oh, well, I'm so sorry. Yes, 16th of March. Write that down. <laughs> Off your hat. My hat? <laughs> Why, it isn't mine. Stolen. Oh, no, 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 no. I have none of my own. I can do the sound. I'm a hatter, of course. <laughs> well, tell us what you know. And well, don't be nervous, or I'll have execute <laughs> on the spot. As you should see, um, <laughs> Bring me the list of singers from the last concert. Well, you don't have to bring them. Well, tell us what you know, or I'll be executed whether you're nervous or not. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Your Majesty. I haven't quite finished my tea, not about a week or so ago, and with the fitting of the bread, and the, and the, and the twinkling of the tea, and the, 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 the twinkling of what? Well, it began with tea. Well, of course twinkling begins with a tea. Do you take me for a dunce? No, 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 no. If that's all you know, you may stand down. Well, I can't go any lower. I'm on the floor as it is. Well, then you may sit down. Oh. I'd rather finish my tea. You may go. Oh, just uh, take oh. his head off outside. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now, let the jury consider their verdict. There's more evidence to come yet, please, Your Majesty. This sheet of paper has just been picked up. It's a set of verses. Oh, are they in the prisoner's handwriting? No, they aren't, and that's the queerest thing about it. He must have imitated someone else's hand. Please, Your Majesty, I didn't write it, and they can't prove that I did. There's no name signed at the end. Well, that only makes matters worse. It means you're up to some kind of mischief. Otherwise, you would have signed it like an honorable man. That proves his guilt. It proves nothing of the sort. Wait, you don't even know what they're about. Read it aloud. Where shall I begin, please, Your Majesty? Be begin at the beginning. Beginning. Uh, go until the end. End. And then... And then stop. Stop. Beginning. And stop. They told me you had been to her and mentioned me to him. She gave me a good character, but said I could not swim. He said the word I had not gone, we know it to be true. If she should push the matter on, what would become of you? I gave her one. They gave him two. You gave us three or more. They all returned from him to you, though. They were mine before. I gave her one. They gave him two. You gave us three or more. They all returned from him to you, though. They were mine before. If I or she should chance to be involved in this affair, he trusts to you to set them free exactly as we were. He trusts to you to set them free exactly as they were. 
My notion was that you had been before she, the queen, had this off with her head, off with her head, fit an obstacle that came between him and ourselves and it. An obstacle that came between him and ourselves and it. Don't let him know. She liked them best, for this shall ever be a secret kept from all the rest between yourselves and me. A secret kept from all the rest between yourselves and me. Why, that's the most important piece of evidence we've heard yet. Now, let the jury finally consider. If any the of them can tell me what it means, I'll give him six pence. I don't believe there's an atom of meaning in it. She does it be. Sentence first. 